anyone who wants to get into the IT industry, Yellowtail is where it's at. Like, I, I end up getting the job, no college degree. All I had is a right house certification. Hey everybody, Rob here. I'm with Carlos Trejo today. And Carlos, can you introduce yourself? Tell us your title and your company. Yeah, so my name is Carlos Trejo. Um, my position right now in, my, in the company I work for is, is a junior system engineer. I work for Skylight Technology Solutions. Right on, man. Well, congratulations, man. Um, it didn't, you, you were on the job hunt not too awfully long. What, about three months maybe? Uh, five months. Was it five months? Okay. You persevered, man. You stuck with it. You had a few interviews. Now tell me, did you have any tech experience prior to coming to Yellowtail? Actually, I did, um, but not to the point where I can get a job. More, more like um, I did in some training similar to this back in 2018. Um, I learned on CentOS 6 at the time. So okay. yeah, yeah, so I have some prior experience. When I when I came to this school to redo the training, it, it was pretty refreshing. So it felt you know, a little easier than it was when I first started doing it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, tell me about the experience, man, going through, um, you know, leading up to cert prep and all of that. Um, uh, you Were you working at the time or were yeah. you? Okay, so you were working and a student. How did you manage your time? So I would say I'm, I'm actually very fortunate with the job I had previously. Uh, the job that I had previously, I actually had a lot of free time during my working hours. So I had the advantage of me doing schoolwork while I'm at work, only because the clientele wasn't as busy. So like the job I was doing before, I was doing uh, phone repairs. Uh, okay. I, was working, I was doing. I was working in an AT and T store in Alexandria, Virginia, as a phone tech. So all, all I have to do is, you know, acknowledge a customer, and you know, whatever appointments I have on the list, that's all I'm going to do for today. So. And then you had that free time where you were just studying away. Yeah, exactly. So I, that's why I tell most people, like, how you do it, like, and my, mind you, like, I was working from like ten to nine. Like my hours were pretty crappy. Wow. But, yeah. So it was like, you know, free to, like if it was a busy, busy store, like, then yeah, I would probably be like- It would've been even tougher, yeah. Yeah, it would've been tough, but I was very lucky, man. Like, I, I consider myself lucky, because when I hear most people talking about, oh, I have to do this, or do that, I was like, no, I- Yeah, yeah. Gratitude, man, gratitude. That's what yeah. it's all about. So, yeah. what, um, what was different this time? You said that you had some experience before and you did some training and everything. Was Do you think it was you just weren't ready for it back then? Or was it just that the Yellowtail system was so awesome that you just couldn't lose? Right, so like the, the one I did before, it was, I was questioning the process of getting the job at the end. They, 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 were, they, they were gonna give me something to where I was uncomfortable doing because I'm not, I, I hate lying. So yeah. they, they are giving me a resume that is, has like a senior level experience, but that's just for me to not, to get in with no cert and to um, get the foot in the door. But yeah. I, I was uncomfortable about it because then uh, you, you're gonna have that imposter syndrome and then you're gonna have to step in there and demonstrate that you have these. Yeah, that you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, that's too much. So with Yellowtail, the dip, the, the biggest difference is that you guys do provide internship and certification, so prep for it. So um, the 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 whole program is very linear. Like everything that they provided for me to learn the concept is right then and there. Like I don't have to go outside of my sources to just to find information you could gotcha. if you want to but that, that would just be a waste of time like it'll tell took the time to make to you know to have all the content that you need to you know to learn linux itself so it was very linear very straightforward and you nice. know you have, you have this um you have these wonderful teachers that are very passionate about teaching or maybe the one or maybe the one that i had right now I was very passionate um 
I also like the fact that every weekend there's additional assistance. So if you had any questions, you go show up on the weekend and um and ask questions as needed. Um, other than that, the the cert prep itself, I'm gonna be honest, like that that alone helped me the most on being very comfortable taking the exam because when I took the exam, I feel it felt it felt easy. So really oh that's yeah, awesome yeah it felt yeah. Easy. like the way how they prepared the exam it was almost like not how... everybody says that man yeah i know like <laughs> you it, know it, yeah i know that's why so I'm... give yourself a pat on the back too nah, maybe because i like me because i practice so much like i practice a whole month straight before i took the exam so yeah yeah I, it, it, it felt like muscle memory but i mean that's cool man yeah well tell it, me you mentioned the apprenticeship too tell me a little bit about the apprenticeship Sure. So the apprenticeship itself, it did give a a an idea of how the the job itself is going to be. So like, you know, you're gonna have a ticketing system. You're gonna have a you're gonna be joining in the group chat and communicate with your team members about, hey, what is this? What is that? How can we solve this problem? That problem? Like in the job I'm working on right now, like I'm my like what my was it my eighth day, ninth day today. Today is Thursday, right? Yeah, the ninth. Yeah, day. yeah. So the ninth day, like, you know, they had a ticket system. We use Teams to communicate. And every morning, we ha we have a stand-up meeting every morning at 9 a.m. Just yeah. to talk about, like, what are we going to do today? What are your tasks? And oh, right on. Yeah, they, they're very so team very similar. Yeah, yeah, they're very team-oriented. So they're not like, you know, oh, go, go ahead and figure this this out yourself they're like open they want me to ask questions that's, that's yeah yeah for, yeah that's a good environment man when you get in when you can get into an environment like that that i mean when they're encouraging your growth and everything um did you feel like you know like from day one you were pretty prepared to hit the ground running oh yeah no i was confident like that you know i was Maybe because of prior experience, but I was confident. That regardless of that, it, it's it's the foundation is there. That I, I would say the only difference is the the stuff they're working on. Like now, they like the stuff that I'm working on right now. It's all very they're very uh, high level on networking. So that's like kind of that's gonna be a little tough for me. But this this the the, the, the concept is exactly the same. Like. The only difference is he's gonna correlate with them or coordinate with them with their with their systems. Like, okay, this gotcha. is yeah, this is what we use. This is how we use Linux to make this work. And then, gotcha, and then, gotcha. So yeah, it's almost like just learning the new syntax or different uh, uh, set of verbs or something like that. You know, you you already kind of got that that knowledge of why it works the way it works and all of that. So now it's just plugging into uh certain tools that they might use and and uh, you know things like that it sounds like yeah it's like they, they they seasoned it like it's like you're pretty much now you just gotta deal with the seasoning you already have the the main entree now you just gotta deal with the seasoning that you use for their for yeah the entree. it's like that's like the best way for me to explain it and um how, how were the mock interviews um did do you feel like uh during the apprenticeship or at the end of the apprenticeship when you did your mock interviews were they similar to the ones you experienced when you went out there and and interviewed you're gonna be laughing at me you know the craziest thing with this interview you know how ricky always asks about the seven layers of the oil <laughs> yeah. this exact that is like the first question to ask me oh what is the set and I just started laughing, and he didn't understand. It was an inside joke because it was like <laughs> the fact that this there there is no way this this interview just ironically just wanted to ask about the seven days of OSI. But that's because like I was staying early. Like with this job is it's just strict on network, so they expect you to have some knowledge of network. So yes, nice that that the interview prep well thought out. I'm I'm glad he asked about it because. Man, I was like, tired. oh yeah, it does this, this, That's this, funny, this. man. Yeah, if you, no, I, was... I, I, I will let Ricky know that, but you should uh, send him a message if you haven't already. He would love to hear that. No, nah, no, nah, yeah. They, they, yeah. They, they, they did for me because most, most people that talk about the experience are like, eh, you know, they don't, they, yeah. they got on the basics, but no, they grilled me with that. Like, 
and then they they're, they're like they broke it down to where like okay what is an IP address but like he wanted me to break it down like how to build upon and stuff yeah it was, it was pretty crazy but um, it's awesome man no 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 the 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 the, the, the mock interviews for people who's very shy you know who wants to know how to break the eyes that that's needed because when you're trying to do this interviews you need to sound confident because yeah. if you're not sounding confident they're not going to be confident in what you can do for them and that and that and that and for me you know i'm very in a personal i'm a people's person so me talking to people that's like flying cars to me all day but it was yeah. it's the um technical aspect because those questions that you guys provided yeah, that, 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 you know, of course, I'm not going to ask all of them, but most of them will be brought up in one way or another. So it's a good um, foundation of, you know, how this is going to be. So, yeah, yeah that's, anyway. that's great advice, man. It's like you got to be confident for sure. So um, I know that your uh, your life or let's say your financial life has improved uh, going from your phone center job to this one yeah oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay enough said man hey the last question i have for you carlos um tell me if you have any advice for those that um have no experience that are maybe thinking of pursuing a career in tech what would you advise them so let me tell you a short story so i can get to the point so okay uh, so and the norm was trust me i was kind of close-minded when i was younger so when i was working at Best Buy, there was this tall black dude that told me hey like we we got this program like similar to yelta but this was a long time ago he was like look there's a way for you to get into the it job with no college degree right and i was looking at him crazy because you know when i talk to folks about it like oh you need to go to college get a four-year degree in computer science and then you can get yourself in you know a position like that and for me that was almost too good to be true because you know sometimes when you hear stuff like that it's almost unbelievable to find out another way to get your foot in the door so i listened to his advice i talked to people around me and this was back in 2018 and and people were like oh you know I have folks that did that you know went the other route and still got jobs and you know i took into consideration and you know i stuck with that instead i, I did drop down in college um in 2018 also so that was probably one of the reasons why i was looking for another way i had things going on at the time so i was like forget college so uh, long story short when i when, when the yellow tail popped up to me I Google searched it, so when, when it popped out the Google search as a recommendation, and it's local to my area, I like the focus that they had, and, and it provides you certification, so if anything, if anyone who wants to get into the IT industry, Yellowtail is where it's at, like, I, I end up getting the job, no college degree, all I had is a right high certification, ironically, the job that I'm working at right now, there are pushing everybody in my group to get right hat certified so really i'm serious yeah oh so, wow so they're all telling me oh you know uh, do you have a right hat set i'm like yeah i got i got it I'm like oh so you already you already got the headache out of the way for them it's like a headache just because the workload they have is a lot going on so um but yeah they they, they were they already paid for their vouchers and they they want everybody in that group to have a certification so and that's that 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 alone shows the amount of weight that they they carry on just the search itself so yeah it's it, it it is very possible very difficult but it is very possible so you're gonna have your hurdles like i i, I have my hurdles but as long as you stick into it and being consistent it's gonna pay off man that's all i can say just be consistent and practice 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 because that's the only way you're gonna learn when it comes to doing Linux. Because people can be watching videos, people think you can be taking notes. Okay, that's good. That's just for a reference point, but that's not gonna help you to understand how Linux works. You need to put it on command line, like type it out, practice it. Practice, practice, practice. That is my number one advice. Just practice it. And I promise you that you're gonna be feeling just like me when I took that exam, like easy, like. It felt easy, but that well, my situation is different. But you know, as long as you put the work in, it's gonna feel pretty easy, in my opinion. Nice. 